black hole is a data-driven light and sound sculpture inspired by the theory and the geometry of black holes. The terrifying boundaries of the event horizon, the point of no return, and the unbearable confinement of singularity are marked on the sculpture using an intangible medium, light. Sound is translating the distant waves of cosmos, the gravitational waves, into our human detectable domain, allowing us to sense the presence of the black hole. A black hole is a region of space-time where gravity is so strong that nothing, no particles or even electromagnetic radiation such as light, can escape from it. Around a black hole, there is a boundary called the event horizon, beyond which there is no way back. So if we were to travel beyond this point, we would end up inside the black hole and finally at the center of it, the singularity. The singularity is a one-dimensional point where gravity becomes infinite and space-time curves infinitely and where, the point where all laws of physics break down, as eminent American physicist Kip Thorne describes it. The inspiration for creating this sculpture came from the first image of a black hole released on the 10th of April 2019, by the Event Horizon Telescope, a planet-scale array of eight ground-based radio telescopes distributed on Earth's surface in various geographical locations. Two concepts of black hole theory deeply affected the creation of this sculpture, the first was the distortion of space that occurs around a strong gravitational field such as that of a black hole, and the second was the singularity, the center of the black hole. Since the beginning of the process, the indention has been the sound of the sculpture to be sonificated data that are strongly connected with the black hole theory. With that in mind, a subwoofer speaker is placed at the center of the sculptural piece, so the round edge of the speaker would represent the event horizon of the black hole. Three years before the first ever photo of a black hole was released, another great discovery was made by the LIGO Laboratory, which announced the detection of gravitational waves for the first time. Gravitational waves are waves emitted by the mass of an object, just like electromagnetic waves are emitted by the charge of an object. The detected waves were generated by a powerful collision of two black holes a billion years ago, and this was the first ever direct detection of black holes. Gravitational wave strain data from the LIGO experiment from the L1 detector at Livingston Observatory in Louisiana was used to drive the light and sound of the sculpture. The sonification method followed was based on normalizing these numbers from minus 1.0 to 1.0 and then translating all these values to an audio amplitude at 16 kHz. The audio data were also used to modulate color saturation for the light at the accretion disk and for the luminosity of the small light symbolizing the singularity. 